Hey y'all, my name is Austin and you're watching Fish and Fever. Gonna do a quick bait run today. That's what I need to do because I haven't been able to catch any bait for about three weeks. Haven't caught any catfish in about three weeks. The bite has just really sucked around here. At least that's the story that I'm sticking to. So there's crappy brim bass in this pond, just your regular American farm pond. We're gonna see what we can pull out of it. Hey, there's some good eater size crappy in this pond too. So might eat some of those or we might just decide to keep them for bait. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but first we need to fish it. So y'all come along. Just got the old ultralight and uh, one of my favorites, just a curly tail grub with a white head on it. We're gonna see what we can, what we can do out here. You never know out here. Looky there, right off the bat. Right off the bat. Good brim. He's going in the bucket. I hope that's a good sign. All right, he's in the bucket. Had to put some water in it and we'll see what else we can catch. I hope that's a good sign of what's to come because I really need to stock up on some quality bait. There we go. That uh, got us a crappy. Good enough to eat too. But so far the plan is um, gonna feed them to a catfish. I know I'm excited to catch more than one piece of bait per trip. That's a change of pace. Got another good bluegill. The more of those we can catch, the better. I'd rather, if I'm gonna catch bait, I'd rather catch these bluegill than the crappie, just because crappie tastes so good. So when you use crappie as bait, and then you don't catch any catfish, it's like, man, I just really messed up an opportunity, you know? Because the crappie probably would have tasted better than the catfish anyways. Alright. We'll carry this over to where I'm fishing. Yeah, I went fishing a few times in the last, like, three weeks. I haven't posted any videos. Because, uh, about three weeks ago, I went down to Bugs Island hoping to drag and catch a big one. But, um, I ended up getting caught in a... Some strong wind. Oh dang, my bucket just broke. That figures. I ended up getting caught in some strong wind and uh, almost sunk my boat. And then one other time I went bank fishing in my normal spot and I only had one green sunfish and he uh, didn't produce anything. The fish didn't feel like biting him. And then last time I went fishing on the bank, I said, well, I couldn't find any bait. So Went to food line and bought some chicken. And I said, well, the chicken usually works at Bugs Island. I mean, why, you know, the people use it. There's all kinds of videos of people using chicken on the bank. Why not? I mean, what the heck? But they didn't want anything to do with that either. So I didn't think that y'all would want to see videos of me catching absolutely nothing. So that's kind of why I haven't posted anything. But I figured I'd try to make a video out of me catching some bait, especially some decent sized bait. We might accidentally hook into an eight pound bass because they're in here. And that would be a heck of a lot of fun on this ultralight. All these fish are fun on ultralights just about. I think you could catch a cold on this ultralight and have a good time. Ooh. Ooh. That was a crappy, but he hit it. Hit that grub like it owed him money. And I didn't get the hook set in him. I could see that it was a crappy. He came up to the top of the water. Felt like a felt like I hooked into a log there. One good thing about crappy is if there's one crappy, there's usually a handful. So if you miss one, you know, don't get too discouraged. The other ones are right there. You just gotta keep going. As long as they feel like biting somewhat. 
like that. Oh, that's a bass. Well, that's a fun catch on this rod. We're not gonna keep him for bait. I don't mind keeping bass for bait. He's just a little big for what I wanna do. But hey, a lot of fun. This is a really nice pond. The uh, owner of the pond is this really nice lady that's friends with my grandmother. And she's, uh, she's let me fish this pond for a few years now. And I really do appreciate that. Her husband built this pond when they built the house, I think maybe in the early 70s. And so, uh, so it's not a new pond, you know, but they've, her and her son and her husband, her husband's since passed away, but I know her son has done a lot of things to help with, uh, manicuring and keeping it up to date you know so it doesn't get all grown up and whatnot i mean you can see how easy it is to traverse this bank they've done a good job with it really have tell me that doesn't look like an alligator over there obviously it's not we're in the middle of virginia and it's 40 degrees outside and i don't think alligators really appreciate that this is when that like eight pound bass that lives in here decides you know what I'm, I'm going to have me a little snack. Just gobbles this thing up and you fight him for like 15 minutes. And he was never hooked. He just never wanted to let go. So then he pops off when you get him to the bank. And you go home and you can consider all your life choices. Well, it looks like everything is in sha or, uh, deeper water. Which means we need to go back over to the other side of the pond. Okie dokie then. nice it's hard to beat just bank fishing on an ultralight on the bank of a farm pond i mean it i've got a lot of good memories doing this and i know most of y'all do too and it's kind of part of the reason i did this channel was because there are really aren't like a whole lot of especially catfishing channels and bass fishing channels that are super relatable There he is. Oh, self-release. Go ahead. I wasn't going to keep you anyways. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of bass fishing and, and uh, cat fishing channels that are like, you know, really relatable. You know, you got guys on 21 foot nitro bass boats with uh, like $10,000 fish finders, you know, showing you how to read side imaging and stuff. And for... 99% of the population, it's cool, but it's not relatable. And then for catfishing, 99% of the population really just doesn't have access to, you know, 80, 90, 100 pound blue cats. But that's, that's what everybody wants to see, you know, which that being said, then who would care about a relatable channel? But regardless, that was kind of the goal. So I appreciate everybody that's already subscribed. Maybe you could tell a friend about it. That'd be cool. It doesn't really matter to me a whole lot which species I'm going for. I do like big fish, you know, like most people. But I think sometimes you need to, like, kind of humble yourself and come back to these smaller fish and just fish like you would when you were a little kid. It's worth it. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but the church... Right up the road is playing silent night on church bells. You know you're in the country when you're hearing that, and that's a that's a good thing to hear nowadays. Ain't nothing woke about that church, I can promise you that. Let's keep it that way. You see that boil right there? Oh dang it. There was a boil right here. There we go. Another crappy. I'll take them. Why wouldn't I? Not a bad one. You could definitely eat them if you wanted to. That's for sure. 
I, I know they like some deeper water right now, so I was casting out and counting to five and then reeling in. That was the first time that I did that, was right when he bit, so. Might be something to it. But he did it again. So yeah, they're in a little bit deeper water. And they're pretty good eaters too, so. Now I'm at that point where I'm like, do I, do I eat the crappie? Do I keep them for bait? I'm inclined to keep them for bait because I, I have no bait. So I can freeze them, you know, freeze them whole. And then, hey, then I'm good for my catfishing videos. Hey, another bass. <sighs> Calm down. We're not going to keep any of these guys. I'm surprised I found one in the shallows like that, though. That was a lot of fun. He ran off with it. He definitely meant to eat it. It was not an accident. All right, we're back at the uh, productive side of the pond. I don't know if y'all can tell it's lightly raining super cloudy cold dreary which often does make for good fishing oh dang it ah uh -huh. that's why you got to look at your uh, tail everybody likes a good tail including the fish see as soon as you fix it. And it's a blimp, a, a blimp, a brim. All right, y'all. Oops, sorry, fella. I think that's gonna do it for me. Pretty purple on them, on their backs. And it shines in the light. All right, y'all, we ended up with some good bait, but it's raining pretty good now, and I don't feel like hanging out in it, so it is what it is. I should have brought my rain jacket, but you know, you know me. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of the gear in the description. You know the deal. Tell your friends about it. I appreciate y'all sticking around. I'll try to get on the river pretty soon. All right. Thanks for watching.